This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Georgie, so when did your parents get in town? How long are they staying? And just talk about your time with them so far. Uh, yeah, they got in town uh, on Saturday. Uh, they flew into Richmond. They got here like, around 11 a.m. And uh, so they had to stay until senior night, until Saturday, until this weekend. So uh, I'm excited, you know, spending, spending time with them. It's been awesome so far. And, you know, I'm just, just enjoying my, my moment with them right now. How many times have they seen you play here at Liberty? Uh, I would say this, they've been watching me like at least five or six times already. So, um, you know, they're excited. They, you know, they take a little vacation from away from home. So it's, it's really good. What do they think of Lynchburg? Is that really considered a vacation going from beautiful Puerto Rico? I mean, Lynchburg oh, is yeah. beautiful. Oh, uh, yeah, for, well, for, like, for the, for everything that's happening back home, yeah, this, uh, uh, it is a vacation for them, so they, they're able to sleep and, you know, they just have fun and just enjoy the time here and enjoying me too here, so. Did they buy winter coats just to come here? Oh, uh, yeah, they're, they already bought it, like, long, like, science. Uh, yeah, as soon I moved to the state, they already have everything ready and prepared so to come to this weather. So, how close is your family with uh, Ivan Gondarizo's family, and how? What's that going to be like? Uh, for two of you known each other since you're what's five, six, seven years old, and uh, you get a chance to play against him in front of your family. Yeah, he's you know we we are really close. We were close signs. We start playing against each other. I would say like. 11 years old and uh, you know and their families are really close to my family and we've been to we, we've been playing against each other son, like literally our whole whole life and playing together like a few times and uh, you know it's always it's always great to be able to uh, to play against him and this time we got the chance that my parents are, are in town and they're able to watch him play. Like my family love how he plays too, so he's really it's gonna be really good for us. And you know, he's just you know, it's a it's gonna be a great experience. Do you though, get, I'm sorry. Even though you grew up on separate sides of the island, mm -hmm. is that, is that relationship still. How did that relationship develop? Uh, just back home, we play all year round, and literally we we could see each other every every week, uh, no matter if he was practicing with the national team or playing against each other. So I think. You know, my parents and his parents were there always talking. We usually eat together after practice or after games. So it just, it grow over time, so. How would you describe your parents' cheering styles? Are, are your mom and dad the same in the stands? Do you pay attention to that? Uh, well, I know for sure since, since I was a kid that my mom is, is more into the game. My dad is more quiet. And he usually likes to see by himself and just watch the game. But you know we here, so he got assigned seats, so he gotta stay next to my mom and and hearing yelling and stuff. But yeah, my dad is more quiet, but my mom is really into the game. They could she could hear something in Spanish. Nobody knows what she's saying, but but yeah, he's my mom is more more into the game. So she go up to the refs a lot. Uh, sometimes <laughs> in Spanish though, so <laughs> they, they don't know what, <laughs> what she's saying, but it's fun. Speaking of Thursday's game. Uh, it was a competitive game down in Jacksonville when you met about a month ago. Uh, what's this atmosphere going to be like, and what do you guys need to do differently in order to get a win and uh, move into first place? Uh, yeah, the, it's going to be a great atmosphere. Like you know, we play at home, and it's a big game for us. But uh, I think the game plan was still the same. I think uh, over there when we play uh, UNF, uh, we weren't able to get stops, and you know they and they they hit tough shots and. And uh, you know, you just that's how uh, we lost that game. But uh, I think we we ain't changing no, we ain't changing our game plan. I think our game plan would be the same. We just trying to you know play defense and get stops. I think that's that's how we beat everybody. Uh, we beat it so far. So I think just getting stopped and playing and doing what we do every day. So even though you lost that game, you were down 11 or sorry 10 late, and then you hold them scoreless until. Uh, Sam's hit that free throw there with a couple, with like about a second left to give him the win. Do you guys look at how you ended that game and say, if we play like that for 40 minutes, we have a really good chance? Oh yeah, for sure. I think if we play like that for in against anybody, I think we got a chance to beat anybody in the country. You just, you know, you just we just gotta be able to uh, play defense and you know making making 
you know, making work on the offensive ends. And uh, I think if we do that, like like you said, like we, you know, we make them hard. And I think if we do that, we we can beat anybody in the country. So.